There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. I'm still saying this. I've been saying it for years. We need staff uniforms. <laughs> staff Great uniforms. Ideas. We need uniforms. Like Ever? Heaven's Gate? No, like um like the army. Oh, oh, okay. Proper uniforms. Yeah, I feel like like Scientology. Like Om Shinrikyo. I feel like everybody would you not feel, guys, because this is a staff mandate. We can't wait to see what you provided. Would you mm -hmm. not feel more impressed by yourself? Yeah. If you had a uniform that you put on every day, would you want? Would you zip it up with pride? Would you? Would you shine your medals? It has a zipper. Yeah, they got to get into it. It's going to be a jumpsuit. A yeah, jumpsuit. it's a yeah. jumpsuit. I'm thinking more of like khakis and a green polo, like Catholic school. No, no, I don't want to torture <laughs> them. I want to inspire them. Yeah, full jumpsuit, different medals, and like, but it'll be more like cutest employee. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like longest you arms. Dress them up like plumbers. No, like army men. Yeah, but army men with jump, like NASA uh, astronauts. Yes, NASA. Space Force. Yes. Army men don't wear jumpsuits. It, it doesn't matter. They're Air all Force same. guys Air do. Force does. Who cares what I they, said army men. Who <laughs> care what they go wear to die for our freedoms? All right? As far as I'm concerned, they should wear graphic tees. Do they get butt flaps, or are they going to have to do the thing where they take off the whole thing, and every time they need to go to the bathroom, they have to do so topless? Unfortunately, they're going to have to take off the whole thing. I because butt, butt, flap. Flap. butt flaps are not professional. <laughs> so in that way, we're going to have to clean that up. But how do you guys feel about that? Is you guys inspired by this? Thumbs All right, yeah. I'm getting thumbs a lot of scared. two, thumb, lot two of thumbs up and one so-so. One wavering no yeah. answer from Eric. Eric is beyond the uniform. Sleazy Dan, ready <laughs> for the staff infection. Mr. Fister, we haven't had a will you shut off the stream in a while. we got to wait for my mandate, but you're going to get back that. Well, I ha already have one chosen, okay. which I think is going to be good. Um, and then, actually, I like this. Tyler says they should have a poll at the end of the staff pick so people can vote on who wins. Ah, who's their favorite video? Have to take notes. Yeah, no, they can do it. They're going to do it. The audience wants it. They, they're nerds. Right? They won't work. They're asking for homework. Mm. Tyler's the dude that said to the teacher at the end of the class, you forgot to assign homework. And that's what happens because he said to the teacher, congrats, now you got homework. All right? Tyler, well, homework sucks, okay? Fucking quit school. Get out. <laughs> fucking be better to yourself. You know, all the greats sucked at school. Babe Ruth. Yep. Muhammad Ali. Bruce Lee. <laughs> they all suck. You think these motherfuckers went to school? <laughs> Couldn't read. Shit? Yep. You know, it's fucking honestly, and Sorry, as your Tyler, teacher, mm. you as much. your teacher, man, I fucking agree. You should be telling me to go fuck myself. That's right. All right, man. because that's the first lesson. Hit the bong, man. That's my home. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> fucking oh, disrespect authority. <laughs> Except when it comes down to if you are arrested for murder or a DUI, you're really going to want to give in. All yeah. right, because you're not going to like the process they're going to put you through on the other end. No. Yeah. Don't right. hit a cop, but spank a cop. Don't blow a breathalyzer until sure. you get to the station. Refuse the breathalyzer, get to the station, then make them draw blood. It's a solid lesson. It's so hard to draw blood. I mean, like, would you do a puddle, a drop? Fucking. <laughs> uh, Let's get our first staff pick. Let's see what our people brought us, our wonderful employees here at the Last Podcast Network. That's working. April. Okay, April. April. All right, April's normally really kind. Hey, guys, it's your boy, Josh, and today I'm going to show you my piss closet. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is that a treadmill on the yeah. side? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that guy. Oh, man. Uh, I honestly, I have dreams like that. Where I like, gotta, I open the closet and I just go pee pee in it. Hey, Eddie, let me tell you what. Them's not dreams, friend. <laughs> you, are, you have a piss closet. Yeah, no, your wife is hiding it from you. She calls us about it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I love her. She catches it with a bucket. <laughs> she like waves. She's like, oh, there he goes again. I don't know when to wake him up on account of the fact that you know that there has been over a hundred cases of fucking people killing somebody else in their sleep from sleepwalking. 
Really? So if you sleepwalk to go piss in the fucking, this is, a, this is another thing from your teacher. If you piss, if you're trying to go up in the middle of the night, you see your partner getting up and he's pissing in the closet. He's sleepwalking. Do not wake him up. He will fucking strangle to death. That does happen. They snap. They bash your head against the wall because they think they're fighting like they think I, they're probably fighting like a uh, Abraham Lincoln with five dicks, right? Like, but they're killing their wife. Why yeah. are you fighting him with five dicks? Because he's trying to fuck all your holes, and you're like, no, Abraham Lincoln, I'm not gay like you. The other day, uh, or the other day, I was taking a nap, and I had a dream where I was choking myself to death. But the entire time that myself that I was choking, the smile just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger until it reached uh, his ears. And when I woke up, Caroline was next to me. When I woke up, I was doing this. Yeah, it's in real life. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Over a hundred people have killed people. <laughs> and oftentimes it goes with um, having a thin waist but a big butt. <laughs> Thirty inches. Your waist? Yeah. Wow. You see, well, yeah, Grayson Maxwell Babbitt says, hey, Grayson, Grayson Maxwell Babbitt, April showers. Wow. <sighs> see, but I want to know, April, first of all, where, who the fuck is that man? Do you know that man? Yeah. I want to find out whether or not April knows that man. Yeah. And I also love the, I love the symbolism of a treadmill on its size in a room that is now used just to piss in. Yeah. And it seems like he's got a couple of garbage bags in there, but he seems to be aiming specifically for an area. It's the closet. Yeah, it's the closet. Once you start pissing regularly in a room, that's a piss room. Yeah. Like, you don't need to set it up in any other way. Yeah. Because that's what, like, our do my dogs have chosen my closet Yeah. in my office. Now I have to get it all taken apart. Because they have made, just like that gentleman did, my fucking office closet a piss room. Ah. That's nice. No, it's not nice. Honestly, I've been fighting it. I'm fighting the tide. All right, I got squirrels outside. There's dogs are doing nothing. You can dogs shut are doing the door. nothing about the squirrel war that I'm currently in the middle of. I got an owl decoy on the way. Okay. It's coming to me. I'm going to go out there, do, but it's like the dogs do nothing except piss in the house. And they don't even work. They don't even make social media content. Melissa Z, my friend woke up to her ex pissing directly into a power outlet when she tried to wake him up. He freaked the fuck out and was screeching like he was being murdered. Yeah, mm. that happens. When I lived with Jackie, I peed on her shoes one night. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back that's why she's. Uh, that's wow. why she smells like that. So yeah. that's interesting. So this is two weeks in a row where we had revelations about uh, a Jackie and piss. Yeah, that's a, and Albert Fish about, and Chips literally says second week in a row but it's piss talk. Yeah, because oh. last last week I talked about Jackie pissing on my feet, and this week you're talking about pissing in Jackie's shoes. Oh, interesting. They both involves feet. Mm -hmm. How sensual. Seems like we're <laughs> working the algorithm. Have you ever peed on your sister's feet? No, I try to avoid it. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, no, all the time. I've never pissed on my sister's feet, but one time I did pee in my father's mouth. <laughs> but bag McButts420. Goddamn those dogs own you, Henry. You're their piss bitch. Uh, yeah. Shut the door. I do. The closet has a door. <laughs> Every day. I'm in and out of there because I got to come out. I'm checking the cameras. I'm looking down the street. I'm finding out who's in the neighborhood that's new. And then I go back into the fucking you office. sound distracted. I am. Nah, I am good. heavily distracted. I need blinders. Let's get another staff video. Thank you. I'm getting that owl decoy. We're going to see what's going on. And I'm going to look for yeah. I need to get old. Mommy, suit. what's for supper? Can't you see that I'm on the phone? Hold it down, I just got home. Isn't it enough that I work all day? Please, you get a chance to get away. Dishes, diapers, dirty rags. Bosses, bills, and back tags. Shut up, kids, you're in the way. I'm so mad I can slap your face. Did I do something wrong? Have you hugged your kid today? <laughs> Send him on this song took a shitty turn. With love, oh, love. I like the beginning. Love, love, love. The kid's running away. She's a yep. person just like you. This is called being with a narcissist parent. Too, so give her love. You don't know who you're calling. Love, 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 All these people are dead. Take a hug him for a while. <laughs> dead, It'll dead. You with kid dead. 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 Bus truck. Yeah. 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 Bus is fucking blew up. Yeah. This message is brought to you by the Both station dead. and the Kentucky Department for oh, Human Kentucky. Resources. In the Kentucky. That, so this is to a, tell their people not to beat their children. That is literally a commercial for the state of Kentucky to remind people to not beat their children. <laughs> to say literally the commercial was do, love, try loving them. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing because that's the only time that I ever got. I remember like two of the big times I got clipped by my mom mm -hmm. was when she was on the phone. Yeah, uh, it was the mom, mom, mom. Mom, 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 mom. <laughs> mom. Well, she's doing something. You know, it was like 1989, so 
Everything was bad. That's nice that you only have two of those memories. Yeah. Yeah. But your mom threw the log at you. Yeah. She No, there was a bag with a bunch of wood in it, and she hit me in the face with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. she beat me with a telephone with when telephone. I was sleeping. That I hurt. also got yeah. beat with a telephone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was tough. But, then but I guess what I d- didn't do anymore. What? Interrupt her on the phone. Oh. <laughs> so I was like that. dead asleep, just minding my own business, and she threw a phone at me, and it hit me in the face, and that's how I woke up. <laughs> yeah. yeah I and then we <laughs> asked her about it once, and she said that uh, she doesn't regret. Of course, mm-hmm. of course, because yeah. you know why? You're just such a big fucking target while you're asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it, man. I yeah. can see you wanting to do it. I mean, I was, I was good at taking a punch. Mm-hmm. Mm. I just straight up got the belt. Oh, that's and, but, but it was a special belt. It, had, it was a leather belt with metal studs on it uh, that would leave uh, impressions. Wow. So, oh, did he just put it on your body and then you became a little David Bowie? <laughs> Is that what you mean? <laughs> no, no, no. Just those kind of oh, he hit you with yeah. it. He hit me with it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Beans, I thought, no, and, I know. thought he was dressing you glam. It wasn't no, doing no, that, a David that was... Bowie impression. Yeah. <laughs> he was beaten by studs. Yeah. yeah. Not like that little like, man on no, horses. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was no. like, no, beaten by studs. No, fucking... like by the diamond dog. I'm like, yeah, here yeah. to beat you. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> uh, looks like I was a naughty boy earlier today. Beefcakes by the hour. I do what you tell me to do. Beat my son. Uh, um, C- Cassidy Van Houten, my mom threw shoes at us because she didn't want to get up. Welcome to the fucking table. Mm, I love right. it. I no. love it. Hey, it's hard. The 80s were hard. No one was having a good time except for everybody that wasn't having a family. Emma Gagney, somebody send this to my real mom quick. Which you is really it. sad because yeah. you don't need, you shouldn't need a novelty song from 1974 uh, to get your parents to love you. You should have to put in a pool. You should have to do some home renovations for them and help them change out their AC in mm-hmm. order to buy their love later on. Sure. Yeah. Because that's how it's done. Your teacher. You know, Kentucky's a tough place, man. Not, it's not. Kentucky? It's what? awful. It's, it's got nice stuff in it, right? It's got nice stuff. Yeah, they bourbon. They got like horses and shit. What's yeah. the bourbon. big city there? Uh, bourbon. Uh, Lexington. <laughs> it's St. Louis? Louisville. 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 Yeah. Louisville. Louisville. Yeah. yeah, they got the bats there. You could use it, but technically a the bat. Caves. They got the caves. A bat is not something a father used to beat his son. A bat is more used for a son to kill a father. Oh, the Louis. <laughs> you know, I always think of like different. Oh, yes. I, I learned a really good thing with bats. Uh, we showed it on the Brighter Side stream. Uh, you guys got bats in your house to beat people with in case they break in, right? I have yeah. Uh, axes. But the axe uh, can also be used as a bludgeoning tool. You know what's really good with axes? If you just, if the head falls off, off. The axe handle is a great beating tool. Oh, oh yeah. No, I have both. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. take your axe handle. What you're going to do is you're going to put a sock on the end of it. Mm-hmm. That way, when you go to swap somebody with it and they go to grab it, they'll grab the sock. You pull the axe out. They're holding the sock. Yeah, yeah, slap it in the face one more time. That's nice. a fucking great idea. See, what I got on my axe is I've got covers on each side of my axe. So when I hit someone with it, it's not going to actually kill them. It's just going to break their ribs. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah, or like bust their head open, yeah. but it's not going to like... It can possibly kill them, but that way I won't have like to worry about like a manslaughter. Hey, but then I learned, hey, my C4 vest Mm -hmm. that I've been using to deter crime Mm -hmm. and also to deter um, a lot of things is that apparently C4, it won't blow up with you need a charge. To blow it up. Yeah. So the house can burn down and I can still have it. So my C4 vest is actually completely fine to have in the house. So you have a vest where you put C4 explosives on? Well, it's just for if there's a conflict. If there's a, a conflict. The idea is that if there's a conflict, I have my C4 vest on and this person wants to escalate the conflict, I'm going to escalate it for everyone. But it would just, but you lose. Exactly. We all, they all lose. Everyone loses. Yeah. Store in a cool, dry place. Yeah, that's why it's under the house. Is this C4? Yep. Yeah. But you can't. You shouldn't be able to Google that. <laughs> of course, you have to be able to Google it because you use C four to blow up stumps to kill your fucking, you kill oh, your family. No, you know? this like, isn't C four. This is about a fucking weight. Uh, this is about a workout supplement oh, C4 called C4 Cell U Core Four Ultimate. Sleep. Oh, that's yeah. different. Okay. This is not. It's hard. I think it's hard to look up C four. Yeah. It um, better be. It's hard. Um, <laughs> It don't do it in the building. But Bags McButts actually said Eddie has these profound messages for violence. His other good one is a good place to get into a fight is the bus because they've got no place to go. That's fucking right, man. You get yeah. them in yeah. close and you fucking grab them. Have you ever fought someone inside of an Uber? Satan's little helper. What is this American obsession with intruders in the night? It's fucking a real. That's not an obsession. Uh, it's a thing that happens. It's called Richard Ramirez, the night stalker. Yeah, it's called BTK, yeah. the man that stalks and fucking waits for you to have a momentary gap in your schedule. Then he goes into your fucking closet while you're not home and then he waits you go to sleep and then you wake up mid-B and BTK'd. Mm-hmm. All right? Yeah. So you think about that. 
Mm-hmm. All right, keep our heads in a swivel. When we did, well, I will say, when we went to Amsterdam and we tried to explain to them about what a security detail was, and they um, they looked at us like we were fucking insane because they don't have problems. Crimes. Mass shootings, yeah, no, yeah. yeah we had, we had, to, yeah, we were trying to describe, you know, say like, oh, you know, you got to make sure that no one comes in here with a gun. And they, but it was like a seventy-five-year-old woman who was just like. The gun is what they use to start the bike race. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they bring it into a building? Yeah, um, and we had to explain, like, yeah, you know, like in uh, Boston and Oklahoma City, we've had people get into fights at shows yeah. and they get arrested. And so yes. getting a, like in Oklahoma City, one time a guy got into a fight with a cop at the show. Yeah. No way. So did the guy oh, yeah. in Boston. The guy in Boston, he actually managed to get his shirt off yeah. before getting into a fight with a cop. And That's that great. wasn't necessarily, that was Boston. I think that was Worcester. No, it was oh, Worcester. Yeah, Worcester's yeah. tough, man. Yeah. I, sp- I worked in Worcester for a summer, and everyone I worked with, there was this one guy. He literally would get, you know, the cubes of beer? Yeah. He would bring one to work every day, and then by the end of the day, he would drink the entire cube. Hey, Jeez, man, that's cold. That's how he knew work was over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Dr. Nine says that's why you piss in the closet, because you avoid BTKs. That's actually pretty good advice. Again, we're bad. teaching and we're learning. Here. That's not bad. Let's watch another video. I love videos. <laughs> it's better than reading. <laughs> Maddie. Okay. okay, this is a furry. Going to a funeral. Yeah, this is a furry at a cemetery. There we go. Oh, you guys did there so we go. good. There so good. We've done, we've done so well. You better be going to Chuck Schultz's grave. <laughs> No, Mel, like Mel Blanc. Mel Blanc. <laughs> no, that's, that's not. Hollywood. That's in Hollywood forever. This isn't Hollywood yeah, forever. This is. Furries die, this man. In Hollywood, never. <laughs> He's allowed to mourn like this. Would you be mad at somebody who showed up in a yarmulke? This is not. Oh a my God! These activity. are these are soldiers' graves. Yeah. Yeah. You don't think he didn't fucking fight for this country? You don't think that those men that are in that graveyard didn't fight for that man's freedom to put that bunny suit on and have sex with a bunch of people in a fucking weird hotel? Is that his father's grave? I know some people, they see this, they'd be hopping mad. <laughs> <laughs> but not this guy. Because Put down this guy is going to take a knee. Down on a knee. He is very, very, this is, he's allowed to mourn. He is. And guess what? His father never get to see, I got to see the real him. Saw on the redhead. Oh, In the home he's, uh, he's okay. Now he's, now he's going full bunny. He's mourning as a human and as a bunny. See, that's cute as hell. Yeah. And that's staying in character. See, he's not hard. He's not making this you don't inappropriate. Know that. <laughs> but I mean, like, he's not humping it. And he's not, he does, like, you know, this is a, the costume that's got holes in it and stuff. Mm-hmm. Silent Squeeze says there's a surprising number of furries in the military. Yeah. What, I, w- I wish somebody would just go to him and be like, what's up, Doc? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dad died. My dad died in 9 11. Sorry, I asked. Security guards. It's like, that's all. Yeah, that's funny as fuck. That's really good. That's really good. There should be a Looney Tunes themed cemetery. I mean, please. Why are there oh no, my God. Why are there no, besides, again, I don't mean to bring this up, besides Jewish theorem cemeteries, why are there no themed cemeteries? This is a great thing for you to get in. Me with David Dasmalkian, he's got the themed coffins. Uh-huh. The idea of an entire play environment, a water cemetery oh my god so you got all of this stuff you got on one side you've got the islands where their graves are but then you have the wave pool you've got the you lazy got river lazy you gotta river. have the lazy oh, river lazy dead river. lazy river yeah like oh, you man. have to be yeah it's corpse, like a corpse river, river. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, la- uh, a river so lazy it's a lake I, I love that. <laughs> I love there. that. Yeah, he just stays there. <laughs> the pond. What about like you know what about the, the lakers should have a cemetery they do but I mean like when you go and there's like a basketball court like there, like a, like where you see all the jerseys that are retired and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's where the dead guys are, too. Hmm. That'd be great. Or if you're a super fan of the Lakers. Mm-hmm. Or like, why isn't there like, I feel like that would be really fucking cool. If you were like TGIF buried up. from like the back in the day themed cemetery with the Family Matters section. And then you got the Full House section and the, the Patrick Duffy Memorial. Step by step. That yeah. would be fucking awesome. Ooh, if there was like a Looney Tunes cemetery, we could dress up the dead people like a coyote and push them off a cliff. That would be incredible. <laughs> Melissa Z, oh man, I was hoping he was going to crouch down and hop away like a bunny. 
I was hoping for that too, but uh, you really can only ask so much. Yeah. Because that was incredible. I was really wonderful. Yeah. That really was. You never, Thank you, Maddie. Because also, someone made the comments about the furries in the military, and it does feel like that that would that makes sense. That that tracks. How? How so? How do they keep it in their bunk? Well, I just feel like I don't know if they're doing it there. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're doing it in the mill. I feel like it's a drill sergeant. Might frown upon it. Yeah. If yeah. you dress up like a big turtle. Yeah, you can't fit fit a furry costume in a footlocker. I yeah, don't no. think so. Yeah. I don't know where. You know, and then I but I do see the idea of being in costume. Cause to me, that's what Army says to me. It's costumes and it's like you're this fun sergeant and you're like, you're <laughs> just out there like you you do the cadets and then you got all the stuff. It sounds like, like you're basing your entire knowledge of the military upon a gay porn. Yeah, man. You're going to show up somewhere and just get the shit kicked out of you. <laughs> no, boys like to explain things to me. The whole point is that I let boys explain things to me because then it gives them an opportunity and makes them feel smart. Yeah. Because I don't know much about the military. My dad was a Navy man. Mm -hmm. All right. But he mostly got drunk in a submarine. Yeah, but he was a so he did his job. But he had the cute little suit, and he had the little hat. Then he'd like walk on the thing, and then they would do pranks inside the submarine, and then they would like they would play grab ass, and they would like do stuff, you know, like. And he was looking at Cuba. He was in there, right? Army soldier lives double life. His furry character called Mark the Husky. Of course, <laughs> Mark. Yeah, man, because a terrible name for a furry. It is weird. Yeah. for a fursona. Mark me. the Husky is really interesting because it does sound. Yeah, it's just. Ah. Mark, the, Mark the Husky sounds like a request. Piss on the Husky. Oh, yeah. To be honest, that's how I'd get out of being in the military. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what his thing is. Maybe it's a pun that Mark the Husky, his thing is that he marks his territory. That's a piss, piss Husky. That's a pissy Husky. Yeah. Yes. Darth, baby, what if the last podcast uniforms were fursuits? Extremely expensive. Yeah, very expensive. Extremely expensive, and it's very hot in Los Angeles. It's yeah. so you need to be, yeah. We need to be wicking. Yeah, and the dry cleaning is would be through the roof. Yes, yeah. and I ain't paying for that. And I don't want everyone stinking. Mm -mm. And the end will that will affect all of our work. Yeah, if yeah. everyone reeks yeah. of of dirty fur. We need everyone aerodynamic. Uh, yes, ready for action. Like these are action suits. <laughs> you had to be able to. Oh, Jesus. Dive in front of a bullet, right? <laughs> the keys for each other, right? And the, yeah, we are all the last line defense for everyone else in LPN. Yeah. So you have to be able to dive. Huh. You have to be able to um, crouch down low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's microphones, right? Yeah. R rifle training for our staff would be good, too. God, that would I'm be so not much against fun. It. I'm not against it at that all. That would be so much fucking fun if we all went Field to the trip. Range. R rifle training, yay or nay? Yeah. Everyone, yeah, all, 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 everyone yeah. in the room. Big that, man. thumbs up. Okay. Yes. I love that. Uh, Mr. Fister, I worked security for a while and would have to patrol a cemetery, and it was never furries, always goth kids fucking on the tombstones. Well, Absolutely. yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we, We've all had sexual experiences in cemeteries. I have not. Really? Yeah, of course not. <laughs> I did, I, I, sec, plenty of times in beds. Yeah, you know, like, I I've also beds. done that, but in high school, the cemetery is like the perfect place. We, I got broken Bed. up with in one. It's oh, the perfect place. Oh, yeah, I mean, I definitely got rejected once in a cemetery, and then, you know, we awkwardly drove back to town, but, you um, know. Genghis Tron, is this true? They're planning a maternity ward at Disney? Mm -hmm. So you can deliver a baby there? I mean, that makes sense. But do they then own the IP of the baby? <laughs> it just yeah, if the baby dies during birth, and they drive it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's easy about a baby is that you can. You, you don't have to. You don't have to drive it anywhere. You just kind of punt it. No, no. If the baby dies in Disney, they take the corpse and they put it in the haunted mansion. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, cool. I would say ghost. drop it off at Universal. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, let's see another video. Eric. Really, really good. All right, Eric. I'm not fucking tripping. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. That's a good boy. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, he's reversing. <laughs> this has to be remote controlled, right? Yeah, of course. I don't know. Dogs can drive cars. Oh, wait, no. Nope. <laughs> he's doing something. Man, Sean. Maybe it's like a Roomba mode. Sean. It's a dog on the fucking ride and lawnmower cutting the fucking grass. He is not <laughs> remotely excited by this. I got a video of this shit. Yeah. How is he not screaming? <laughs> what is he listening? He's talking to someone on the phone. <laughs>
<laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> no, she's rambling about something else entirely. She did not even respond in the least bit to I'm watching a dog mow the lawn. He's not responding himself. He's literally going like, wow, look at that. Dogs on that riding mower. And it's like, that's not the response. Some people don't get excited about much. It's a dog. Oh, he still filmed it. <laughs> Mowing a lawn. I think that's excited as that guy gets. Wow. Yeah, yeah I guess it's yeah, hard times. Yeah. I mean, who knows more about that lawn than that dog? You know? Like, oh, yeah, he knows exactly. Anyone's going to get in there and like make sure everything's trimmed up right. That dog's going to be nice. Dog's right. gonna dog's but anything we know about dogs, though, is they like stink. They yeah. like going into the grass. They like fucking it up. They hate things to be well made. No, Georgie, they don't I'm, want it. My dog Georgie loves the freshly cut grass more than any other grass. After I mow the lawn, she comes outside and she runs around on the lawn for like ten minutes. She you loves it. You mow the lawn? Yeah. Yeah, he loves it. Yeah, I do all my. He's yeah. a red-blooded American. Wow. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do all my yard work, all my landscaping. I fucking love it. Yeah. Crazy. He's a dirt-based person. Yeah, so I love it. You the, bought I love a lawnmower? Yeah. Is it a nice one? Do I got, you have to river room? No, no, no. I got, I got an electric one. I, I bought, I bought one too, and then I, I got rid of it. Yeah. Thank God. I, well, yeah, you got fake grass. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got. I, I got ripped up one. anything that was natural. It's got a big battery on it, you know, because my lawn's pretty small. I mow my lawn. I take care of my uh, gardening. I, you know, use the leaf blower, get all the leaves out. Yeah, I do all of it. Amazing. I mean, he I does it. it naked as a jaybird. Mm -hmm. Neighbors but, hate it. Hey, man, what are you going to do? Yeah, butt bags, McButts 420, he's a real Hank Hill. I actually, well, that's the thing. I have, I have a kind of a clover grass, a, you know, that's my yes, dirt lantern. Yes, it's, it's his dirt lantern yeah. that he made. Well, Is now, that still there? Oh, no, no, no. That's all like flowers now. And those two plant, those two uh, ferns in the back, those are huge now. But yeah, those are all flowers. I got a nice little spread going. I'm about to expand it. And it's just little by little. I know because you like your garden and you dig, but I didn't know you mow the lawn, too. Yeah, yeah he likes Love all it. of it. You see, that's the type, that mound, it's like, that's like one of the classic examples that if you weren't like a nice, successful entertainer, mm -hmm. right, they would look at that. And they'd be like, this man's had a fucking brain injury. <laughs> like, they would look at that and they'd be like, this man saw a family get, like, raped by fire <laughs> in a in a war-like setting. And this is his only piece. This is the only piece he has is that he makes smiles in the dirt. And you'd come by, you'd be shuffling. I could see you full of Thorazine just shuffle him and like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that style of like yeah, as you go, being like something smiling. <laughs> My doctor says that expression is the best way to heal. You know what's important sometimes you have to you have to smile on the outside to start to smiling on the inside. You know what I mean? Like meanwhile, like but he's not legal. He's like not allowed to have a job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just watching the uh, rewatching the first season of True Detective. Yeah, oh, it's great, yeah. classic. And that classic. looks like iconic something you'd find in True Detective. It does look kind of like that. Put yeah. flowers <laughs> on like me. That, yeah, put flowers on it, me. Yeah. Yeah, it does. There's a foot I, in there. I look at it and I see nothing but like an adorable pile of dirt. It I is look, adorable. Yeah. The it, horns are, you know, what throws me off. It's like a mysterious face that I can throw anything on its thoughts. Like I can mm -hmm. see and be like, yeah, sure, that could be fine, or that's like a thing that is you know that's planning my demise you know what's very impressive about that mound is that i know you're busy <laughs> like He's i extremely know busy. I, have, work. I have weekends <laughs> yeah. i yes. have weekends but that's how i chose to spend that um, weekend i beautiful. spent i spent so much because i had to rip up the entire garden i did because i didn't like what the people before were done they just kind of let it grow wild so i ripped up everything i had so much dirt to play with and i kind of miss it because yeah. now i'm like i've got everything planted i my dirt uh Play time is, is greatly reduced because, you know, I'd have to destroy things. I think you should start Sandbox. bringing your work out with the, while you're in the dirt. Bring the computer out there a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then play with the dirt a little bit. And then you kind of go back and forth. It's called ADHD working. That's yeah. what I do. One of my planters did fall down uh, yeah. last week because the wood in the, my backyard is rotting because um, it used to be where L.A. didn't get much rain. Now we do. Uh, now we do. And the wood in my backyard is uh, um, rotting. Amanda uh, asks, Marcus, do you plant native plants on your property? Now, do you mean like indigenous? No, she means plants that uh, are good for, you know, Los Angeles, good for California. Like fucking weed. Yeah. No, right? I, Headshot I, plants. I plant some. I plant a lot of succulents uh, and I uh, plant wildflowers. I get some wildflower seeds, but it all just came up clovers. But it's beautiful. That sounds because very, it, very nice. All the clovers covered up all of the uh, dead spots in my grass. And it's a beautiful, multicolored lawn now. That sounds You guys really... should come over during the day and check it out. And, they said, and, 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 you know, if, if I can keep on, if I can keep a lawn going, they said that maybe 
maybe I, I'll, be, I'll be allowed to get a pet sometime. <laughs> <laughs> um, a reptilian overlord says we need a Marcus makeover mandate. Three weeks. Is it three weeks? I got I got the stuff coming. Sure, that's great. Three weeks. Yeah. Is that, is that because I got it all. Got to get it all collected. I got to get it sized. I got to go get it tailored. <laughs> but isn't your mandate in two weeks? I don't know. It's whenever we're gonna get it. No, <laughs> but it's just very gonna... soon. It's within the month. All right, all right, and yes, for to answer the question, yes, for my next mandate, sure, I'll take some pictures of my garden and I'll bring it in. I love that. It's not the most impressive garden in the world. I'm still an amateur. Yeah. I'm do I'm just doing what I'm doing. But yeah, let's do flowers. Be nice. Some I don't like sunflowers. He hates sunflowers. Well, yeah, he hates Toilet's sunflowers. too small. Hates sunflowers. The toilet is too small. <laughs> he is saying all of First this of stuff. All, he's fucking got a great ass and he needs a good toilet. We Thanks. talked about this and we and I asked Natalie if she would measure my taint and she had no problems with it. How long? Oh, we haven't done it yet. I barely saw her. <laughs> you didn't text me. Oh, it's because I was waiting to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and she says she's fine with it. Right, she'll close but, her eyes. Uh, did you text her about it? How did she close her eyes? I asked her, Clyde. I asked her because then she'll feel it with her hands. She'll know where it is. Like this. But she doesn't have thing. to look. Was she happy about it? Was she like, no. oh, baby, of course I'll do that for you. No. No? Of course not. Did she say, I guess I will? Yes. Okay. I'll measure your tank. See? It's that easy. Five inches. It's two. It says average is two, but we'll see if I average get the average. Average is two. It's smaller than you. It's like your Do teeth. It live. Do it now live. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the tape? We can get it next week. Honestly, I'm ready to go. I'll get in there, man. Don't worry. I, uh, I'm i a taint misbehaving. <laughs> <laughs> That's stolen from Mr. Shell. You, or you should be sued yeah. from by Bob Odenkirk. I thought that I wrote that. I'm going no. to sue. That taint misbehaving's in Mr. Show? That's a Mr. Show. Yeah, it's a, a pornography film in Mr. Show. Yes. Really? Yeah, taint misbehaving. Yep. The Pointer Sisters, are they in it? What? No. Ain't no. Mis they're in Ain't Misbehaving. Oh, no, no, The musical. No, no. no. They also did, um, what was the song the Pointers did? The big, sorry. Well, we're just lost. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Brianna Vanderhorn, I've, I've heard I've heard about Marcus's ass probably 125, 125 times, and I've never seen it. You got to fucking move to Los Angeles. Yeah, open yeah. your fucking eyes. Yeah. Yeah, you got to find me first. You got to read between the lines. <laughs> All right, let's watch another video. Okay. You are watching this video because your clock is messed up. Either your power went out or yeah. it's time zone change. I've Maybe watched a lot moved. of these. Maybe it's daylight savings time, which is a waste. But anyway, this is an Oster microwave. I've done all of I'm going to show you how. All right. So just hit clear just to clear out anything that you have. Out there, sure. out. And then you go to hit clock. You can either select the 12 hour clock or the 24 hour Curating. clock. That's okay. my preference. But I'll show you the 12 it's hour clock. It's got like a million hits. Because my wife likes 12 hour clocks. She, she then knows what time it is. Uh, I'm dead. a pilot, so I'll go by 24. Oh. Okay, yeah. so if you wait too long like I did, yak, nice. yak, yak, then it <sighs> shuts off. Okay, hit 12 hour clock, then hit the time. And oops, no, that's not possible. God damn it. <laughs> Let's try it again. Uh, sorry. Clock 456. It's your word. I had a little dyslexia. And then hit start. That will make the blinkies start to blink. See that? That's <laughs> how you I... know that you have set your microwave. That is just on that point. microwave. I'm going to do that again. Ah! Yeah, well, doing it again. Hour. This Those is like on the phone choices. with my mother working the fucking printer. Now, hit the number, what time it is. My mom has broken now. three printers. And then the most important thing, mom? hit start. Clear? You get it to start blinking. You need to clear? If you don't hit start, the time will just sit there and then it'll disappear and you'll be frustrated Where's much your like I was <sighs> for the last five minutes when I was trying to set this. Cut to him crashing a Delta plane. And you have to put in your time and then hit start. So you're not you starting the microwave. Like he's got to be. He's got to make spices That's up. a little hidden secret. Hit start. It's not if a hidden like secret. Video, it's how you set the clock for the comments fucking... comments below. Otherwise, come on over and help us move in. We're getting this place built and Horrible constructed. Stuff. We're getting new everything because it's a new building. And it's a... Um, is this the loneliest man in the world? Basically, going to be where we're moving into for a while. Sweet. And Someone's it's at our lake. Subjected there's to a beautiful, it. beautiful, well, there's lots of couches and stuff. And lake rules. Fireplace being put the in. Lake but, needs um, advice from this I was going to say it was a beautiful day. It was lake rules. this morning. But this is really you can bad. see that I'm not working on my this docks. This is just 
They're sitting in the yard because there's thunderstorms this is like out that there. Recipe and I don't want to be in the woods or on the lake. Story about thunderstorm. her fucking grandma. Thanks for watching Frosty Life. For hey, come on pages. back for and some family fun Here's how you make and some videos to see what we're up to with our cats and our dogs no one and our renovation it's and our moving. And and this is the Willie Shaw. We sold two houses. That one's getting moved off the lot. And building the rest of the new house. I this just, is why there are home invasions. Space this is, this really this is why the lions lost. Tiny space living for or men like this. Year because we this have 425 fun. square feet. Actually, 420. Because mm -hmm. the shower is eating up right. some of it. 420. Right? Right? Yeah. Have a good day. Bye. Uh, thanks. You know, hey, it could have been a lot longer. <sighs> and I was really hoping, you know, in the end, if you are going to do that, Hand down so we can see your distended belly full of Mentos and Pepsi Cola and your engorged cock. <laughs> because that's what the internet really is for. That I mean, is what it's really, really for. Yeah, Mr. Fister says, I'd rather watch the guy cut off his nipples again. <laughs> you chose so far the most upsetting video. Game. That was so upsetting. Yeah. That was that so is upsetting. So far the most. It is weird that that broke us. You know what it is? It's the, it's the, we're so, we're jaded. In the way of like, I'll I'll see a man's I'll see a man holding his intestines, and I go like, eh. you know, that hurts me. Well, because we know that we've been in that situation. Like, if you were in that, if you were in the room with that man, if you're in a conversation, that can I'd be you like, imagine, whoa, was that some kind of spaghetti? Can you imagine how many times you'd say right or that's crazy, crazy, buddy. yeah, wow, wow, right? Re well, I yeah, just know I just right? was in when I went to go see my wife's family. Yeah. yeah, and they just go on youpers. and on and on. Hey, you know, well, over there, that used to be Craig's diner. But right. then Craig, he, you know, he got encephalitis. Really? And then his wife started taking care of him. But yeah. now, you know, now it's Shiner's diner. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> Richard Shiner, his cousin, he mm -hmm. came and he saw us an opportunity, but he wanted to keep it exactly yeah. the same. Right. So... Nothing's changed about it. That's it's the same now, but now it's Shiner's Diner. Right. And over there, that used to be the Eucharist of the Holy Madam over there, but now it's the Eucharist of the Tiny Gentleman. Okay. You have to just... <laughs> I mean, that's that's a fun story. That'd be different. Like, what? That what is that? <laughs> this is the problem. You can't, you can't even be boring for fucking one minute. <laughs> <You can't> even... <laughs> Ask my wife. Ask my wife all we... Do yeah. is laugh. I love it because my my wife's family, you know, they don't really talk at all. Yeah, and so I just sleep. but they're the ones that are alive. Yeah, yeah. Crook seventy seven. I have to do renovations for people like that. You just fake a phone call and walk away. Yeah, That's yeah. Good. You go like, oh, sorry, Bluetooth. <laughs> you just put your finger in your ear like that, and you go like, oh, the president needs me. Oh, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. I gotta shit. <laughs> There's gotta be that. It's gotta help a lot. That sentence helps a lot. Uh -huh. I gotta shit. Yeah. Let me fucking let it go. Yeah, I have to go shit. You can get out of a lot of tickets that way too. I've definitely, in order to get out of conversations, I've definitely just gone like, "Hey, can I use your bathroom?" And just gone and just stood there. Of course, in the bathroom oh, for yes. five minutes. You yes, just yes, yes, stand yes, yes, there, yes. stare out the window. Oh, oh yeah. Relax. Love yeah, that. Relax. That's, oh, that's yeah. where we. That's so where. Stressful. That's our solace area. Yeah, so that's those people like that are so stressful. Whitney fucking Myers, I helped drain almost two liters of fluid out of an old sick dog's abdomen at work today. Was it Sprite? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see this next video. <laughs> Wouldn't that be incredible? That would be nice. Ooh. If dogs make Sprite. Jump. Joel, how are you okay. Is the same guy who did Salad Fingers? No. This is good for Marcus. Yeah, this is like Brothers Grunt. You guys ever watch Brothers Grunt? I love Brothers Grunt. I love guys eyeball. Are shit, right? Eyeball noises are my favorite. Yeah, I love it. Ah. Stuck. This is awesome. This. this is great. Unbelievable. <laughs> Love eyeball noises. Ever since Red and Stimpy, it's my fucking favorite shit. Oh, uh, boy, didn't make Bobby's it. Bobby's dead. 
Yeah, they're She's strong. She knows every 7 p.m. they come. No, it's every two hours. Yeah, look at There's that. Nine o'clock's coming. This is awesome. Sometimes dinner eats you. Vincent Maslowski, that was fucking good. That's great. Hell Pointed yeah. tree, really good shit. Wonderful. I love that. Yeah, that's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, that's I love stuff. that. Very, uh, truly, very uh, Ren and Stimpy in yeah, style. Yeah, very like that would have been been perfect on Liquid Television. I love that shit. Man, I miss Liquid Television. I've got the full uh, series on DVD. I'll let you borrow it. Yeah, we both so bought it much. when we went to go a con. Yeah, we both yeah, we bought both it at a con. One. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I also have all the stuff from. Um, I have all Max Headroom. Oh, Max was great. You know yeah. what's interesting, Max, Max Headroom, is that it's all, um, the character's fascist. Oh, it takes place it? in a fascist dystopia. Yeah. It's very interesting. If you look at it, there's clues in it that essentially Max Headroom's a Nazi. Mm -hmm. He looks like it. it. That's kind of one of the big clues. Yeah. He does look a lot like a big old Nazi. He looks a lot does. like a Nazi. You know, but then it's also, the idea that in the future, it's cool. The Nazis drink tab. Is Have tab still around? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, out tab's there. Tab's still around. You can still buy Tab. I don't think Shasta is still around, though. i seen it. No, Shasta Cole is Shasta? around. You've seen Shasta? Yeah, wow. Shasta. Yeah. Whitney fucking Myers, I dared my coworkers to drink the fluid from the dog, but no one was up for the challenge. It's because it's bad. Tab discontinued in 2020, according to Gurney. What? Wow. wow. Another fucking law. Another, I guess another business by Lenny Eels destroyed. That just means you saw Tab last five years ago. Mm. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, I stopped drinking soda a while ago. Yeah, he's soda blind. Except for the Perrier's. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But that's God soda. <laughs> God made a soda. He put bubbles in it. <laughs> Let's see another video. Yeah. Remember, we're going to vote. Are we voting? Yeah. And then I'll give a prize to the winner. I'm going to give a prize to the staff winner who wins. We just decided this. I don't know what it's going to be. Count your fucking prize. They want my prize. It's going to be good. Poll is a limit of four entries. All right. Can we do two batches? Oh, oh fuck! Oh, fuck, oh, Kelsey, oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 oh! You know that's a type of injury, too, because it's like, you know, it's so severe and so quick that he doesn't even know how bad that hurts yet. Yeah, yeah. he snapped his groin. Yeah, he does not know how bad this hurts. Something yet. like, can we hear, can we listen to see if we can hear? Yeah, you Ooh, can really yeah. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah, yeah, something popped. Yeah, it's yeah, his yeah, knee, yeah, yeah, it's his yeah, knee yeah, or his shin. Yeah. He broke I yeah. think, No, I think oh. it's like the fucking oh. ligament oh. snapping. I mean, he's not <laughs> He's not going to be Pro God. Bowl. That That's for fucking certain. Future fat man right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he yeah. is not going anywhere, dude. That yeah. is a podcaster. No, oh, yeah, Kelly. Good job, Kelly. Yeah, thanks, Kelsey. One. I love when fucking skateboarding kids hurt themselves. I got to do. Oh, shoe paste. Max Hedrum was not a fascist. He was a journalist who was killed in covering a corporate plot to mind control people. I think that's what it was. And they put his branded computer to create Max Hedrum as a computer generated TV host. Oh. Idiot. Yeah. So you were entirely wrong. But I'm cool. Like you couldn't be more wrong about Max Hedrum. Hey, man. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to say stuff. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> but no, I, I, because I saw, I half remembered a thing I was talking about. You know what I mean? But when it comes down to it, at least it's half. And I'm a, I'm a fucking, if it's a glass is half full. That's glad my brain's half full. You remembered what Max Headroom looked like, yeah. and you extrapolated a fascist thing in there. <laughs> that was in there. So I knew something was up about that, and I did watch something like that a while ago. Uh -huh. yeah. And then I did have some of the facts that were connected to it too. And then actually, what I did, as a truly good teacher, is I let the students go research on their own, figure it on their own. Because again, at the very top, all we said was question authority. Yeah, question right? authority. Homework so they, sucks. Mm -hmm. So he did it on purpose. But they did homework and taught you wrong. Yeah, exactly. I bet the Noids a fucking fascist. But, no, oh. the Noid. Well, the Noids an anarchist, yeah. uh, anarcho syndicalist. Yeah, yeah. He but, hates pizza. He or hates. He, and he, pizza? he hates pizza, but he works for pizza. He's an anarchist. Yeah, it's exactly that. He hates the job, but he has to have it, and so he's going to undermine it from the inside. Mm -hmm. He's annoyed. He's but, like fight club. Uh, but yes, I do. So I just want to say, what a good teacher I am. I did a really good job. Sure. Because you taught yourself, and that's the lessons that you learn better than anything else. You're better than Henry, whoever that person was. That yeah, was you're better. Yeah, exactly, as I want you to be. I'm in control. Good teacher. Let's see another video. See, Al Alco, I'm a college professor, and I can confirm Henry's a good teacher. Wow. Alcoholic <laughs> is short for it. <laughs> that's how we know. <laughs> <laughs> No! 
Oh shit! What happened? Oh, the thing popped up and it cut his fucking finger off! That's fake. That's gotta be fake. That's gotta be fake. Whoa, the bumper came up on the thing and then cut Whoa! his fucking finger off! Ah! That's such an important finger, Pole too. is live. Pole is live. So uh, far, entry is crushing. That is fucking... That's fucking crazy. Wow. That's wild. That's the kind of stuff uh, you forget. I hate go-karting. By the way, it. last time I went go karting, I had such a bad time. That was, did you, you went when the group of us went, right? Were you there? I don't even remember I had such a bad fucking time. That was the one where people were driving really fast. I got hurt. Yeah, I got bad. hurt. Julia. I was like fucked up for like two days. Julia fucking She was a bitch out up. there. She was <laughs> crazy <laughs> out there. <laughs> Julia Johns uh, yeah. of A Tale of Two Titties, which yeah. is the name of her show. And she did a, that is, she fucking rammed me, hurt me bad. I don't know if I'll go it again. I'll never go it again. Definitely not now. Avira's wife says, no blood though. I think what happened was that you saw it happen and you, wa and you watched it because you saw the muck at the end of his thing, which was the grease from the bottom of the, because the whole bottom of it's covered with grease. So it slides easier. The, and then, so like you saw it was, cut, it was about to start squirting hard. Yeah. Yeah. It could have been cauterized. I don't immediately know. Immediately cauterized. I don't know if it immediately cauterized, but I do feel like it's a, it starts to run because I don't think it necessarily goes like skirt, 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 skirt. I don't think it does that. We it don't know. Depends on the cut. Because when I cut my tip of my finger off, it just, it just bled <laughs> like a motherfucker. <laughs> God, that would be so cool if we could do that. Oh, if yeah, you could just cut your it? finger off? No, just, and then, I mean, only if I could get it to come back. Crook 77, I had a buddy lose his pinky jumping off a pontoon boat. He swung his arms back as he jumped, and his pinky got stuck in the gate. Oh! He went forward and his his he went forward and his pinky stayed in place. That's weird that it got ripped off instead of just getting degloved. I mean, I feel yeah. like in the end you want it to be ripped off rather than degloved. You never know. I mean, because like the knuckle there, especially, that'll pop right off. Yeah. My my friend's a teacher and they had like a they all went to Spain one year and she was in charge of all the children and they were at the beach yes. and one of the kids is sitting there and then all of a sudden she just starts screaming and one of her fingers are gone. No one had any idea how it happened. That's awesome. No one had any fucking clue. I mean, it's we're made to fall apart, kind of like um, like a Kia, like a Kia Forte. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just lose parts. Yeah. It's fine. It's better to, but again, it's better to lose a binky entirely than be degloved, because they're gonna have to chop that thing off. As the whole is. thing. The There's definitely. I think that if you get degloved, like if half of your finger comes up, tell me if I'm wrong, Chad. But I think if half of your finger, if the meat and the muscle and shit gets ripped off and it's just the bone, they would have to amputate the whole thing anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think the meat would grow back around. I think you have to have some meat there. It has to fold it. Yeah, because otherwise it's just going to be a bunch of jangly bones just jangling All right. around. So far, Eric has won the round. Eric has won. Round one of polling. Nice. So we're doing this in round we're because we're gonna do, do four at a time. So we're gonna do okay. four at okay, a time four and four then time. we're gonna do a championship. But at the, the top. finger one wasn't in that, right? Yeah, bracket two is up now. Okay, okay. Bracket, yes, bracket two is up now. Bracket two is up, two's up, up now. now. So uh, Eric is the winner of bracket one. Got okay. it. Dog Charles, on a lawnmower. Charles Ng, imagine having to search for the rest of your finger amongst zooming carts. Fucking kind of a fun day. Um Chelsea Moraski was gonna Chelsea. My hand my dad jumped down from his shelf and his wedding ring got stuck and he almost got degloved, but they cut the ring off and they saved the finger wow. that's a fear of mine too yeah oh i definitely having a ring this ring because my ring is also like a, a bit loose yeah. i take it's, it off when i'm doing stuff yeah yeah and then i wear a silicone ring just to keep so you women stop fantasizing <laughs> Wait, when what i go you, to the gym what stuff are you doing like you do don't stuff. do stuff yeah i do stuff like i what take mine stuff? off when i wash the dishes yeah i take mine off when i, yeah, uh, I do stuff. shower it when i when i if i lift weights when i shower mm-hmm so you take your ring off and put a silicone ring on when you shower? When I used to go to the gym. Okay. No, no, because in the shower, I can be single in the shower. <laughs> but when I go to this the gym, because they're all, you know, they can't not. They want some. Yeah. They're all looking. You. Because they're all like, number one, I think truly they're like, he'll die soon. Mm. You know, and so if I get in there now, if I just fuck his brains out a couple times, he'll probably be dead. See, I just think of, you know, the people who want to fuck you at the gym are just like huge dudes knowing they could overpower you. I yeah. think it is a lot of that. Yeah. But I have the ring on so they know that someone, I have an emergency contact. Yeah. <laughs> they know they have to fight someone else to get to you. Or at yeah. least that someone will help come looking for me. Yeah. yeah. You know, because again, it's because all of our stuff's tied together. Um, Lindsay Necropolis, would you cut your dick off if it would regenerate? Absolutely not. Uh, I would. Really? Yeah. 
I'm satisfied with the penis I have. What do you no, mean? No, no, I, it would be the exact same penis. That you don't know back. that. You really don't know. Wow. You but really what don't have no idea if the same. Of course, it's not gonna be the same penis. All right, mm-hmm. Vivian R says it's you can whatever you can get, whatever you can muster up. This I is interesting. Know. Vivian R says you can save a de glove, but a crush usually needs an amputation. Yeah. Whoa, that's really interesting. interesting. That but is no, interesting. But when a te- when you cut the tail off of a lizard, the exact same tail grows back. That's a lizard. That's a lizard. But if I but if I you don't know that. But if I have the power of regeneration, then I could extrapolate that my powers of regeneration would create the same penis as before. I'd love to start off new. You know why? Because if my dick grows back, uncircumcised, and I'm gonna get my foreskin back. So fuck you, dude. You could get it back. Get a hat. If you really want it back, we you can get it back, and we're gonna document it. Yeah. I don't We're want, going to I make it for the show. Is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. Um, how many more videos do we have? We have. So we're yapping a lot. Two more. Two, two more. more. Right, well, let's, let's watch it. one. Let's, let's watch, watch, one. watch one. Let's watch yeah, one. Yeah, because we got to get. I love this down. conversation, but we got to get to the vote. Oh, Gurney wins round two. Gurney, Gurney wins, wins round, round two. two. All right. So wow. Yeah, way Just to go. From sheer emotional abuse. Let's see this next one. All right. Right. Oh, thank you. Great. Get away from my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, get away from... Honestly, (laughs) get away from my sister. I can see this guy hanging around my fucking sister. That's the rings, right? I hate the sound of his rings. Strapple in his goddamn fingers. Ah! I took your face off. Ever removed yourself from the working pool. <laughs> this man is not doing it. Yeah, please dead. Get hippie and crawl away. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Fuck you. And it's one of those shitty Target ones. Pour some sugar on him and watch the ants eat him alive. Why does it sound like he has maracas? <laughs> how many? Rain. How many? How loose are these rings? Stop! Don't smile at me. If you're taking the evil eye away, give it some gravity. It's the music. The music's in there. Hey, Jesse, this guy wants to just talk to you about his intense Ren Fair based poly. Are the staff just trying to get me to quit? Yes. That's their job. Is that what's happening now? Am That's I their job. Do they, hate you hate me? They did their job. Sorry. This is exactly what we want. Yeah. We want to be tested. Namaste, more like Nama go away. <laughs> <laughs> Save it. That's reusable. But that's reusable. That's not you gotta understand. He's gonna we're gonna have to use that joke many more times. <laughs> that's how that goes. I remember I did diso- I remember dissuading Jackie from getting a full back tattoo that said Namaste. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I actually wanted to I, I feel like it's better if you're gonna do it. You get one that says everything gun be I re. <laughs> Because it's the same. Yeah. What, how, where were, was she going to get it like across her shoulder blade? Or across down, her shoulders. She was, wasn't was going to get it down the uh No, she was going to do spine. it like it was her last name, like she's a professional softball player. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I like it. Yeah. I'm glad she didn't do it because guess who's not Zen? Yeah. My fucking sister. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, Jackie. Yeah. Um, reptile expert here, Amanda. Regrown lizard tails are different than their originals. The new tails have cartilage instead of bone, so they're actually weaker. Of course they are. You didn't say that. That you added they are actually weaker. They are weaker. If it's not bone, bone is stronger than bone cartilage. stronger than cartilage. Then how do you explain sharks? Marcus, you love bones. How do you feel about cartilage? cartilage. How would you feel sharks if I showed have, up and be like, "Hey, Marcus, here's bones. a bunch of cartilage." I didn't think you'd want bones this time. You ever had tripe? I love tripe. Yeah. I mean, I like bones, but the thing is about a penis is that there's no cartilage nor bone. There is cartilage. Okay, then great. Then I'm just growing back more cartilage. What's the problem? But I still feel like it might not come as hard as back as hard as you want it to. It would. Yeah. Um, that's not the thing about. It's not the cartilage. It's the blood sac that makes it hard. And blood sacs can be coming back just fine. I yeah. don't know. It sounds like you're three printing your own dick over and over again. Yeah. No. It's I mean, no I'm not way gonna, it's gonna I'm be not, good I, again. I'm not gonna do it like over and over again. I'm gonna do it once I, under I the actually, supervision of a doctor. I'm not gonna. It's not I like disagree. I'm gonna go into my bathroom with a fucking rusty knife and saw it off. You're definitely I'm going to do. Not it. A rusty I mean, knife. if you've cut your dick off one time, it's not gonna be the last time. A heated blade, <laughs> I would suggest. Yeah. No, no I would go like to a, a hospital. I would have. I would go to a plastic surgeon, have a procedure done. I would explain to him, sir, I have a power that enables me 
to regrow my penis after it cuts off. Son, I need you. Son, to I do gotta this. talk to you. This is called um. <laughs> have you been watching TikTok? <laughs> um, I I just want to say that I you're the third person I've had in here this week, and honestly, if it's true. I'm out of a job. <laughs> because this is the dick cutters. That's what I do here. We are the Unimakers. We are the dreamers of dreams. I think when you cut your dick off, you grow a vagina. <laughs> yeah, I think. Well, it does. You no, know, because you have to push it in. You can yeah. have no you can just have balls. Yeah. Dominic, I'm, I'm getting a tattoo of Henry in a test tube that says podcasts are made in a lab. That's my fucking bro. Yeah. yeah. Um, Grundle Goblin, I used to work with a guy who had his last name Slocum tattooed on the back of his arm. When he wore shirts, it just said come in big, <laughs> bold letters. Come. Which again, is very difficult. It's very difficult. All right, we got five minutes left, so let's watch the last video so we can make sure that we get these polls in. Yeah, because I want it. Because, again, we're going to give prizes. I don't know what it is. Oh shit, what is going on? I have the cranberry song. Turns out I actually found, I did have this video on Twitter. Oh wow. Oh shit. Yes. It's crazy. It's so hot in here. <laughs> it was crazy. It was so hot to go. That must be that must be German. Well, I think that was a German. Like, yeah, I, I, that was a ver definitely a different version. But German, us. right? It's so crazy, man. <laughs> wow, dude. That's fucking great. Well, if he speaks English, why is he listening to the German version of the song? I found that they like American exclamations in other countries. Jeez. They like fuck. They they like words fuck. fuck. Yeah. I mean, everyone. That's a great word. They like it because again, Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese, you say fuck you, America. Poll you know I mean? three it's, is up. Yes, poll three is up. But you know, they do that kind of style where like they like they like our words in that way. They like our expressions. Holy you know? jabezus! Holy jabezus! Yeah. yeah, like a dog fucking an antelope. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> These are not expressions. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Both of those things are not yeah. real. Yeah, two sponges in the hand is worth four sponges in your mother's coffin. <laughs> I love these. I love American idioms. Right? Or like, I'm as nervous as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Yeah, that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. one. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one makes sense. Yeah, I am from Sweden, Lazy LaPlante. I'm from Sweden, and we use American swear words more than our own. Yeah. yeah. What's a good Swedish swear word? Like, gerflirt. Meatball. <laughs> no, that's, their, that's great, though. Yeah. Their meatballs are good. Have you ever had a real Swedish meatball? Yeah. At Ikea. But no, that's not. You got to go get some real Swedish meatballs, friend. I'm not even in Sweden. Yeah. I had them in Sweden. Mm -hmm. Really? I liked them better here. You like them? What? Then you don't like Swedish meatballs. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. America makes things better. <laughs> just, right, we came here and we perfect just, things. You just like it with a lot of sugar in it. Yeah. 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 But I like Polish restaurant stuff. Like what we can do. All right. But Helvete. When is Helvete? What does that mean? I just... Oh, God. You just what did said I say? Helvete. <laughs> that, that means, what did I just remember say? Helvete? That was, wasn't that the name of the... That was the name of the black metal uh, record store uh, in Oslo. It means oh, hell. Cool. Oh, yeah. Helvete. Hell and damn. Hell and... Hell and damn. What's it called then when you, when you have to have... When someone makes you eat pastries with them? It's called like forflicka. When someone forces you to eat pastries with them, there's a word for that. There's a Swedish <laughs> thing where they do a thing where they say you have to have, you you set it up and it's, it's pastry time. It's called for flicker. And then if you don't have it, it's bad. We, uh, I'm not even saying with this, what you're saying, lazy little plant. I don't know what the words you are saying. They're all a bunch of Swedish stuff. Do you have that? Careful. Fika. Fika. Michelle wins bracket three. Michelle, Michelle wins bracket, wins bracket, three. bracket three. Oh, three. All right. All right. All right so now we're going to do the final, the final vote, which is between Gurney and... And that's to remind you, Gurney is the video that is the interminable the clock one microwave yeah. the guy video. In the tiny house. Then it is Eric's dog driving a lawnmower. Love the dog. Honestly, it should great. be president. And then the third is Michelle. Was it the finger? We burning the, dreams. The, burning dreams. The um the the bad ass. This is code. That is awesome. Oh. Yeah. This fire in here. Mr. Fister, Henry, what do you think of the Dune Two popcorn buckets? I love it. I can't wait. I'm going. I already got my tickets. It's so rare that popcorn buckets buckets are also flashlights. Yeah. I mean that's it. That's been the joke. As but it when been? it comes down to, but you know, no, it's worms, and that's where I get mad. Because a lot of people make fun of stuff, and I'm sick and fucking tired of it. Because that is a men sat and a, probably one woman 
They sat in a room and they spent hours trying to figure out how to get you fucking plebeians interested in the most important works of science fiction that has ever been done. And yeah, it might look like a fleshlight. It might look like a fleshlight, but that is a sandworm. Okay? And anybody who says otherwise is an immature... How are you supposed to get shit. popcorn out of that? You stick it's your hands annoying. in it. Yeah, but when you pull it out, the spines are going to pull back. They're going to steal all the popcorn. You're Much never going to get popcorn the, out of that. As is the danger of the mysteries of Shai Hulud. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, objectively, so it's, it's a bad... It's bad. Yeah. Because yeah. you got you want to get to the popcorn. I'm going to rip that thing off. I'm just going to eat the popcorn out of it. Yeah. Also, but but I'm going to then thing, fuck the thing. Fuck No, fucking that thing's a very bad idea. I think the bristles are soft. Yeah, but there's, it's still not going to be good for you. You're not going to like it. I this is a man with a regrown penis. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, for, Not yet. Right now, it's just a stub. But that's the thing, man. If you could regrow your penis, imagine all the risks you could take. I just want the one first one. <laughs> I just, the one that came out of the factory. <laughs> Um, Dr. Nine I'm attached. Like, Dr. Nine looks like a great way to get butter up to the elbow. It does. It looks like, honestly, it's going to be foul. Uh, it's a really dumb idea. But if they're trying. They're trying to make Dune fun. We have a winner. We got a winner. Employee of the month. Employee of the month. Ooh. It's Gurney. Gurney Yay! took it down. Congratulations. Congrats, Gurney, Gurney took it down. You're going to get a prize. Congratulations. You're going to get a prize. What's the prize? Prize a uh, hundred dollars out of Henry's wallet. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I actually might have it. I might actually have it right now because I had to go to the bank. There we go. Yes, yes. You just made a hundred dollars. I'm a fucking that. Sure. I'm a fucking that. There you go. Hundred dollars. You just made a hundred dollars. Take it in there. Wow. You, you can all get at it. We all got wow. a dry order. Man, the staff dollars. picks just heated up, by the way. Yeah, Next one's going to be very, a lot more interesting yeah. now they know 100 bucks is on yeah, the line. 100 bucks. Yeah, that's the thing. Every Now we've set a precedent. Every time Everyone's turning in their shit. Yeah. Like, no 100 gonna... bucks is on the line. You win every <laughs> single time. I feel like it should be chosen randomly each time. Yeah. Because I'm not always going to have that. That shouldn't. I no, it's going to be $100. You're just extremely lucky that, that how it worked like that. $100 out of Henry's pocket every single time. You're that's $100. Very, very lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, show, don't share those serial numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they'll call, they're, they'll call the FBI. <laughs> what a successful mandate. Yeah. You guys yeah. did great. Successful. Everyone's upset. Mm -hmm. uh, Marcus is going to replace his penis. I don't know why. Yeah. To get the foreskin back and to, to be able to take risks. Because I'm going to take a lot of risks before I cut it off. What do you mean? Like what? What's the first risk? What do you? What have you not fucked that you always wanted know. to fuck? Is a better question. I, mm. Ver Viridian it's Oracle between says between me and my first penis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Viridian Oracle. I'm so glad I signed up for the Patreon today. LOL. This made my night. This Thank was you. Fun. Um, and uh, that's it. We don't have any announcements. We'll be back next week. I love you guys. Same shit. Bye. Bye, fuckers. Which one of you punk ass motherfuckers sent my dick pic to my fucking father? Which one of you guys did? I would love to know. I'm livid right now. I did it.